Hello YouTube, welcome back, GPK Forever with another video. And uh, yeah, so I'm building a couple of sets, and I just wanted to show you guys kind of my progress going on. But before we get started, make sure to hit that like and subscribe down below guys. Um, as you can tell, I am using a newer web camera, so please let me know in the comments down below what do you think. I, I was like, you know what, I need a new camera. The old one was pretty blurry and with cards and stuff. It's okay, but lately I was like, ah, you can't really see the cards in great detail or anything like that. So I was like, you know what, let's shake things up. Let's get a new one. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. So, yeah, again, let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of the new camera? Um, that's pretty much the big question I have right now. So let's get started in this. So, um... Here's our first stack of cards right here. We have a bunch of um, fossil cards right here from 1999 Pokemon. So we're just going to quickly go through. And uh, so, yeah, enjoy. So we've got an Ekans right here, uh, first edition and stuff. And these are all raw, uh, Tentacool, Fossil, uh, first edition again, Omanyte, first edition, Geodude, Seahorsey. Cedra, Grimer, and you'll notice some of them I bought multiple copies of. I just did that because eventually I'd like to get these graded through PSA to um, have a complete PSA graded set. That's that's kind of what the plan is, but um, with prices and stuff, it's not really worth doing these cards. So I'm kind of just picking up the cards I need, and I'll just hold on to them for however long I need to. But yeah, so we've got Energy Search. I also You'll notice that I'll be missing a bunch of cards from this set. If they're not within the raw stack, I already have picked them up graded or I don't have them. I think I'm missing like 10 cards left of Fossil, so I'm almost done. Um, we have the Dragonite, Gengar, Articuno Hollows, and stuff like that. I think I'm missing like Raichu Hollow, uh, Lapras Hollow, I think. Uh, this is the non-holo right here for Zapdos. Um, the Lapras non-holo, I'm talking with someone right now, and we're just negotiating on price. So who knows, maybe next time I do an update, if you guys want to see an update of these sets, um, if you guys want to, uh, hopefully I'll have that. I'm hoping to have that com fossil completed, but yeah. So Golem, Gambler, so again, two Gamblers, Tentacruel, and a Mr. Fuji, first edition, and a Weezing. So this, I don't know why, but this Mr. Fuji right here was pretty difficult to um, get my hands on. And yeah, so I'm glad I finally got a copy of it. I couldn't find a graded copy of said card, but now that I have a raw copy, I can uh, just go in and uh, get it graded myself. So, very, very excited for that. Alright, that was weird. I just had a weird, um, the settings on my computer just popped up. But I was like, oh, that's weird. Alright, so, that's Fossil. Again, um, if you guys want to, I can show you the graded part of the collection I already have. Um, like I said, this is just the raw stuff. So, we've got Fossil right here. Next, we'll hit, um, you know what? Let's go with this deck. <coughs> Ooh, sorry. So, um, <coughs> whoa, man. Okay, Voltorb. Come on, camera. Yeah, there we go. So we've got Voltorb, um, as you can see with this little indicator right here. This is a uh, le part of Legendary Collection right here. Very, very popular set. This is when they first introduced uh, Reverse Hollows. So, yeah, let's uh, take a look. Uh, these are the only ones I have right now. I don't have any graded slabs or anything like that of this set. So, it's just the raw cards. So, we've got Voltor, We've got Boss's Way. If you guys don't know anything about this, Legendary Collections, they basically took... A little bit of everything from the previous sets, like base, jungle, I'm pretty sure there's some fossil cards in here as well, and um, 
they were like, hey, you know what? We're going to throw them into a set. And I believe there's some Rocket cards here as well. So Psyduck, uh, Ponyta, see, Mag Magneton, that's from Fossil, Growlithe, from Base, Raticate, Base, Base, Fossil. This is from Rocket right here, this Machop artwork. That's where this first appears. Grammar uh, would be from Fossil. So most most of the set is going to be base, and then the uh, rocket, and then we've got jungle right here for the last four. So Rapid Ash, Primeape, Fero, and Right Dawn. So like I said, yeah, it's it's just basically everything but the gym challenge, and I don't. Yeah, everything but gym chal gym hero and gym challenge. They kind of threw them all into this set right here. So yeah, pretty pretty cool set. I'm looking very forward to completing said set. So boom. Next deck. You know what? We're going to do this one. Oh yeah, you guys. This one's going to be pretty cool. An, I'm saving the best stack for last. So alright, here we go. So as you can see with the Pokeball and the two right here, we've got base set two cards right here. So base set two. So we've got the Hollow Nidal King, the Hollow Gyarados, Hollow Nidal Queen, and again this is kind of like uh, Legendary Collections but it's just Fossil, Jungle, and Base. Right, there's, there's, I'm pretty sure there isn't any rockets in this set. So we've got a Kangaskhan, that would have been from Fossil. Right, we'll just kind of quickly go through these. Energy removals, uh, Defender, Lass, uh, she's from base, Pidgeotto, Pincers from Jungle, Far to Fetch, Bulbasaur, right there, so very nice. I think that's the only starter I may have here. Uh, Full Hill, Drowsy, Bill, Bellsprout, Caterpie, what else we got? Diglett, Abra, right here. I remember right, this should be the first card in the original and uh, base set. I think Abra is number one. I'm I think, I think, don't quote me. I could be wrong, and I probably am wrong. So Yeah, I, I never mind, I don't think it is. Imposter Professor Oak. Pidgey Pikachu Beedrill and Electrode. So that's base set two. So guys, if you haven't guessed already, we've already went over three different sets, right? We did Fossil, we did Legendary Collections, and we just did base set two. So, you know what? You guys totally want to see this. Miscellaneous stuff. Um... These are just some cards I saw a good deal on, and I picked them up. But uh, I haven't officially built a set with a couple of these yet, like the first three uh, English cards. But the Japanese stuff, I think I am going to build a set with those. So we've got Cedra, Cedra Graveler. I believe they're from EX Deoxys. I can't remember it because a lot of these cards, some of them I picked up like maybe three or four months ago. So as you can tell, I've yeah I've kind of been slacking. I haven't really done a good job updating. So we've got um, some hollows right here. So Magneton, Hitmonlee. I didn't realize this, but I already have this graded, and I think I already have it raw too. So Woohoo! number three. So that was that was a pretty fun mistake, and a Rockets, Team Rockets, uh, Moltres right here. Then we've got a. Crabby and Fossil, that's really OC. Very, very OC. And then this is all just um, basically just base set for, uh, you know, the original set. Uh, mostly trainers, though, because I didn't have any of the trainers. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to pick up some of the trainers if I can. I, I know, like, some of these, I think they're drowsy. I've got three copies of or something like that. But, again... Kind of like what I said earlier, just kind of waiting for PSA, the prices to be more negotiable or within reason before I start sending these cards off to uh, build my build sets with them. 
So next off, we've got a um, jungle right here. Uh, some of these came from the same seller. Some of some of them didn't. It just all really depend. So um, yes, yeah, so we have a venonat right here, and as you can tell right here, the venonat has like a bleach spot, which is pretty interesting. Uh, the listing for this card just had a regular card, but I got, I I, uh, I got this instead. So yeah, I'm not gonna complain of that. That's kind of cool. So very very nice. Vile Plume, um, again, this is Jungle, and uh, kind of like I mentioned before with Fossil, some of these are going to be first edition, some of them are not going to be. I'm just trying to get the card first, you know, I don't care if it's first edition or unlimited and stuff or like that. Maybe maybe down the road I'll build a first edition Jungle and a first edition Fossil, but for now I'm just trying to complete the set, have one of every card. Um... Pokeball, Jigglypuff, Mankey, Wigglytuff, Primeape. So some of these cards we've seen when we did the Legendary Collection and stuff, like the Rapidash, and some of them we have not. So again, like, I should have another Bellsprout here somewhere. So here's the first edition Bellsprout. We'll, he we'll see here in a few moments the Unlimited version. Butterfree, super, super happy I got, grabbed that. I got that for a great price. I was kind of shocked how much he was asking for it, so I was like, yeah, here, I'll take it. I'll take the first edition Butterfree. Duran, so we just saw Paris Unlimited, so this is a first edition Paris. Right there, you can see with the first edition. Uh, Goldine, Cubone, oh, there, oh, here we go. So sorry, I had two more belt sprouts. So we've got an Unlimited and a first edition right here. Kind of show you guys them uh, side by side. So yeah, and then I also had bought in a um, hollow from them, right? Same one I bought the hollow base set two cards from, which is the Venomoth. But when I received it, it looked like there was a bunch of scratches on the hollow. Uh, it's probably really hard to tell because I had to take it out of the sleeve out of the penny sleeve to really see the scratches and stuff, but there's a lot of scratches on the hollow. And it was supposed to be near mint condition. So I'm kind of talking with the seller right now, trying to see if we can uh, maybe work something out about this card. But until then, I'm very glad to still have this in my uh, collection. I think it's a pretty cool card. But I was just a little disappointed because I asked if there was any scratches or anything like that on the hollow, and I was told no. Um, there weren't any scratches or anything like that, but yet the card I received, the copy I received, did have scratches. So, but last but not least, we're going to end on a very good note, guys. Very, very good note. I've got a stand right here that I have this camera setting on. So, um, it's about as tall as these stacks are, which I'm kind of, kind of laughing at. But here we go. So first... We've got some base set cards. So we've got base set unlimited right here for you guys. Yep, 1999. So these are just base set unlimited cards. If you couldn't guess already, I'm building base set. I'm building base set. So I'm building all these different sets at once. Um, as you can tell, some of them are being uh, like a top priority right now. I'm trying to hurry and finish up fossil. So that's probably like my number one priority set right now. So I'm really focusing on Fossil. And then I'll most likely focus on Jungle and then Base Set or anything like that. But, um, yeah. But what do we have here? We have a Shadowless Growlithe. So for those who don't know the difference between Shadowless and Unlimited, here you guys go. See how on the right hand, this left card, on the right hand side of the Growlithe, there is no shadow like the unlimited version. That is what makes it shadowless. So, yeah. Hope that was educational for you guys. Let me know in the comments down below. Did you learn something? Well, besides the fact that I can't remember what sets some of these are from. And yet, I bought them. So, this one I was super excited about. Charmander Shadowless. All right, then we have a Diglett. Oh, two Diglets actually. Gustwind Shadowless. So all of the trainers are gonna be Shadowless, I think about two. Machop, 
Magnemite, Poliwag, oh yeah guys, Ponyta, oh yeah, Rattata, Starmie, it's not stopping, it's not stopping, we've got a Tangela, Staryu, which I already have a graded slab of that, Dugon, two Dugons, very excited, um, can't wait to get this graded actually, the Dugon, yeah, there's there's quite a bit, so I'm only taking small handfuls at a time. So we have a Fartfetch, which is an uncommon. So we've got two of those actually. Ooh, Ivysaur. Ivy, Ivysaur. Shadowless. Jinx. Kakuna. Magmar. Seal. Another Staryu. Another Staryu. So I've got like three raw, four um, four in total, and then just the one slab. But I mean, guys, they're shadowless. Whenever you see them and they're for a good price, I'm, 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 I'm going to pick them up. Right? I'm guilty. I'm going to pick it up. A Haunt. So these are regular. Uh, these are unlimited. So the Haunter and the Jinx. Now we go back to shadowless with the Tangela. Switch, Imposter Professor Oak, Pokedex, and Power Plus. Those were all shadowless. And then this is going to be the last little bit. So we've got a Pokemon Center. Porygon, Professor Oak, Super Potion, Abra, which is unlimited, Bill, which I believe is also shadowless, a Bulbasaur, two Bulbasaurs actually, uh, unlimited, Potion, shadowless, two of those, and a Starmie, unlimited. So, yeah, you guys, some pretty, pretty crazy stuff. Very excited to uh, get this going, but yeah, so... That's a pretty nice stack of uh, Shadowless cards, not including the ones I already have graded in my collection. But, uh, yeah, you guys, so that's going to be everything for this video. Like I said, make sure to hit that like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below, would you guys like to see um, the graded side of these sets, of the cards I'm putting together to build these sets? If you do, please let me know in the comments down below. My next video, I should be doing a review on some of our nice pulls from our UK mini box. Thank you all for watching. This is GPK Forever, signing.